Okay, today we're doing a demonstration of how to solder copper pipe. Woo! And a bonus, we will demonstrate how you can join copper pipe to PEX pipe. So here is the tools and supplies we will be using in this video. You can see we have our flux, our solder, tubing cutter, our brush, cleaning supplies, copper pipe, PEX pipe, some fittings, and I'm using MAP gas instead of propane in this video. So here's a copper pipe that we want to solder. I'm first going to cut it to the proper length using my tubing cutter. You can buy these at your local home center or online. As you rotate the cutter around the copper pipe, the cutting wheel cuts into the copper and will cut through it and you get a nice clean straight cut. This one I like because it's great for getting into tight spaces. So if you're up against a, a joist or a rafter or in a crawl space or underneath the sink, works well. Next, we'll use this deburring tool to remove that burr from the inside of the copper pipe. That's the best practice. So now that burr has been removed. Now we'll go ahead and use this tool to clean the outside of the copper pipe this is half inch copper pipe. They make these cleaning tools for half inch, three quarter inch, etc. Or you could use emery cloth or a piece of fine grit sandpaper. You can see it's nice and clean. It's important you clean your pipe and fitting before you solder it. So I'm going to clamp it in my vise and the pipe jaws. And there's a fitting and we're going to clean the inside of our fitting with this brush. Because again, you don't want any contamination or oxidation on your fitting or your pipe. You want it to be a nice, clean copper. So try not to touch it with your fingers. Then we're going to apply some of our flux with our acid brush here. You just need a tiny bit. You don't need to go overboard with the flux. And again, make sure your brush is clean, not contaminated. Apply it to the pipe all the way around. And apply the flux to the inside of your fitting as well. Push the fitting onto the pipe. Here's a solder. It's a lead-free solder. And what I like to do is bend a 90 degree elbow like that. Makes it easier. And again, using map gas, this torch is nice. You depress the yellow button and it automatically lights. So you don't need a striker. So I'm going to apply my heat to one side. That orange you see there is the barcode sticker burning away. Apply a little more heat. You see the copper pipe changing color. You see how that solder just wicked all the way around through capillary action. We're done. That's it. Wow. I'm going to apply a little bit of flux over the joint. When the joint cools down, I'll wipe it off with a clean dry rag. 
take a little closer look. There's our finished joint. You can see the flux, excuse me, the solder traveled all the way around. And if you look inside the pipe, you can see that silver ring all the way around, proving that our solder flowed all the way through to the inside, all the way around. That's what you want to see. Now, if you want to join PEX to copper, there's an easy way to do that. One of these push to connect fittings means no soldering, no fire, quick and easy. You still want to clean and deburr the end of your copper pipe, however. Make sure there's no sharp edges. Nice and clean, no burrs. Simply take a Sharpie and mark the depth. Or you can even buy a depth gauge for these push to connect fittings if you need to. But we need to push our fitting all the way just past that black Sharpie mark. And there we go. You can see it's on there. It kind of acts like a Chinese finger trap. And there's an O-ring inside there that seals around the copper pipe. Next, we'll apply the PEX pipe to the other side. Just gently push it in. And the connection's made. So when would you use a push to connect fitting? Um, say if you're working in a facility that does not allow hot work, this would be an option. Or for the do-it-yourselfers or homeowners out there, if you're underneath the crawl space in a confined space and you're not comfortable using a, a torch or you're worried about setting something on fire like insulation or, or wood structure, this is a great option. That's also how you cut PEX pipe with a tubing cutter. Makes a nice straight cut. Now to remove these fittings, you need one of these removal tools or you can use an adjustable wrench if you don't have one of these removable tools. Simply push it against that plastic collar, hold tight, and then pull the pipe out. So see, I'm pushing down on that plastic collar and I pull the pipe out. Wow. The same procedure on the other side if we want to remove the copper pipe from the push to connect fitting. These are plumbing code compliant. Shark Bite is one of the popular brands However, there are other brands out there on the market. And there you go, that's how you remove them. And basically there's, again, there's O-rings inside that create the seal. I hope this information helped. Please like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment below. Thanks for watching.